Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, not so much a scenario as a situation from the Naval Academy. What I want to try and do is build the battleship that can tank, well, preferably 20 inch shells. And I really want to see if that is possible. I'm going to pick the France versus Germany mission for this because I know that the AI is set to build a seriously large battleship. Whether the battleship will have 20 inch guns, I don't know. Anything smaller is much appreciated, and I want to see if I can build a ship which is capable of tanking those. So let's have a look at what my options are. Now I'm going to go with a new design. I have already tried the La Galissonnière and uh, the Colosse. This ship is going to have maximum displacement. I will need that in order to fit all the armor. I'm going to have speed to 15 knots so that I can put maximum armor on. Let's go for diesels, um, oil, and well, I probably will be fine with natural draft boilers because the ship is only doing 15 knots. I'm not pretending to be a fast ship. That'll also probably benefit my turning circle quite a bit. Uh, whoa, which is still 1,076 meters. Okay. I guess this hull does not want to turn too quickly. Right. Uh, Weapon-wise, the ship won't have too much on here. It's not really the point of the ship to be exceptionally uh, well as far as guns go, because it is going to be a pure tank build. Now let's see what the armor, sorry, what the efficiency is. Yeah, 100. Okay, good. Krupp armor to four. And um, let's see if the enemy has the, for me, worst case scenario. That means two powder for maximum shell penetration at 10.5% extra. 20 inch guns. They can, at 10,000 meters, penetrate 49.6 inches of armor. If I go for maximum armor and I make sure that I get the most resistance plus citadel, I can probably pretty much double... Yeah, look at this. I already have an armor quality of plus 100%, which means that 11 inch turns into 22 inch. If I can maximize that even more, uh, citadel... All or nothing scheme, 118%. I think that is the most that you can get out of it. Citadel 4 gives you 110%. No, I'm going to go with 118. Citadel 5. I also want reinforced bulkheads to reinforce the floatability of the ship. Um, it is a tank, after all. Anti-flood, uh, medium. Anti-torpedo, medium. And barbette armor, heavy. Currently, that doesn't impact the ship yet, because I haven't put any turrets on. Now, radar, generation 2, and stereoscopic 5 radio, uh, sorry, stereoscopic 5 rangefinder. Why stereo? Because I start at very long range. And this ship will probably stay at very long range, because at 15 knots, she's not exactly going to be chasing this ship down. So, um, belt armor, 25 inch, belt extended, 25 inch. Um, here's the problem. At 25 inch plus 118 percent, I'm crossing that 15, sorry, 50 inch threshold, which means that the ship will have to be closer than 10,000 meters in order to take damage if they hit the belt armor. When it comes to deck armor, I'm going to probably need another at least 15 inch because. That means, well, here's the problem. A ship that's this, how do I put this? A ship that is this slow will take a while to get into range. And all that time, I will be subjected to plunging fire from deck plunging fire. So shells that come in almost vertically and smash right through the deck. So that means that I need to have armor, which is somewhere in the equivalent of 55 inch, 55.9 inch. And that is at... 25 kilometers. But that's not really telling the whole story because these things range out to 44 kilometers. I just hope that the enemy battleship has 20 inch and that they don't reload too quickly. Let's see, if I put 15 inch of deck armor and deck extended, I'm already cutting pretty deep into my displacement. And this will mean smaller turrets. I'm thinking 
16 mm, inch guns, maybe 15s. Because at closer range, the 15s, let's say a 12,000 meter range, will penetrate 31.1 inch of armor. And that will allow me to do damage against the target. And of course, in this scenario, it's not just the battleship that you're targeting. There are plenty more concerns. So let's say a 15 inch quadruple and another one and another one. 93 tons out of 95. I'll have to go with a pretty bare bones ship when it comes to the amount of upgrades that I have under the armament tab. It will be standard reloads, it will be hydraulic turrets. Um, I'm thinking of just using high TNT because it saves... Well, does it even save? Yeah, it saves me 500 tons, which out of 95,000 is not that great, but hey, it's a start. Well, let's put the superstructure as far back as possible. Like that. Pull this turret in. Four, three point four. Three. This thing is gonna be pretty far in the back. Point three, point one. Good enough. What I would also like to have is a few secondary guns, because there are some smaller ships around and they need to be addressed. These things weigh 121 tons each. So I can put on quite a lot of these five inch guns. And this means I have 15 5 inch barrels per side, which throw out a shell every 14.7 seconds. So let's say every 15 seconds to a range of 11.6. This is pretty much all I can build, at least for this particular scenario. I can up the secondary armor a little bit more. Um, I want to up the conning tower armor to at least 15. Turret armor of 15 inch is probably good enough. Turret top armor, this will be my weakness. Plunging fire that goes through the top of the turret. When that happens, there is a pretty high chance that the turret will go up. There is not that much that can be done against that. So let's see, is the Charlemagne capable of tanking 20 inch shells? It looks like a really bare bones ship when it comes to all this deck space back here. But I don't think that I can do too much to shrink the ship down and still have all of this armor on. See, it just doesn't fit. So back to full. And let's see, can I completely max that out? No, it's going to either be 0.1 aft or 0.14. So it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, Charlemagne, let's see if you are made out of the right material to tank 20 inch shells. Let's see, I get one battleship and five destroyers, they get one battleship, three battlecruisers, three heavies and eight destroyers. There are plenty targets around. My range is 34-7, which means that I am already targeting one of their ships, presumably the big guy here. No, it's at 35. These guns don't look that big. I want to see if the AI went with large guns or not. Um, need a couple of sacrificial destroyers here. Just to race in and get my ship identification on the enemy. These things rush in at, again, maximum bulkheads. The AI continues to befriend me. I have already hit one of the guys? Wow. Uh, I want the Charlemagne to push in, not sail perpendicular, because that is not why we're here. We're here to tank. I don't believe that these are 20-inch guns. They might be 18s, but they're definitely not 20s. Pretty decent-looking design from the Germans. I'd say it's... It's lethal at long range and lethal at short range to destroyers. What I'm not seeing is a whole bunch of armament against cruisers. Sure enough, these seem to be 4 inch, maybe 5s. But that's about it. 
This seems to be the only turret that they have here in front of the X turret. Now I have already actually gotten two hits in, which is pretty surprising. And then the meanwhile the Tirailleur is pushing in, along with the Vauquelin. This should speed up identification significantly because I'm getting a lot closer. If this ship turns out not to have guns of at least 18 inch, I'm going to just respawn the situation, just uh, re-enter the battle, and that will cause the AI to spawn different ships. 50%, 51, what sort of torps do I have? 15 kilometers. Oh, you know what? I might as well torp that ship. She's a big girl anyway, so that means that's easy to torp, generally. I only have one quintuple, no, quadruple launcher, just a four. It's nothing too impressive, but it should at least inflict some damage at 23 inch diameter. The repeat visibility of 20% is generally not something I really appreciate, but in this case, I might get away with it simply because the battleship will not be able to turn that fast. Tirailleur, now would be a great time to launch your torpedoes. Come on, girl. Come on. Hold up, that is the battleship, no? No, it is not. No, it is not. That is the battleship. That's the one that I want to hit. And we are now sailing outside of torpedo range. Lovely. Identification, 84%. Carry on. Carry on. 88, 89, 90, 91. Range 14. That should be in range then. Let's turn a bit more. Allow the torpedoes to be sent towards the battleship. Is this another one of those destroyers that has problems with the torpedoes because they're limited by another launcher? No. There we go. Fish away. Battleship Westfalen, 18-inch guns. Yeah, pretty much as expected. Now, does that mean that you can hurt my battleship? Uh, yes. Penetration on the battleship is pretty good. Probably because at 27 kilometers out, you're plunging through the deck. Okay. Now, let's, let's run this test. Let's keep it at times 5 and see how much I can actually tank. Especially as I close in. Vauquelin has not yet launched her torps. Oh, great. We have two different classes of destroyer. In the same division. That's annoying. Freya has detected the torpedoes. I hope that she's not going to take one. Because she's not the main target here. The Westfalen is, and the Westfalen has maximum bulkheads, which means she's perfectly capable of stopping those torps. She also has the anti-torp 5. So I really don't think that she's at much risk of getting killed off. Tirailleur is still alive. Vauquelin racing along with her. So far they've done a little bit more damage to me because they have hit a destroyer. Now, I wonder if we're going to see the penetration chance go down against the battleship. Yeah, we're currently at 50. But I'm not even sure who they're targeting. They are targeting the battleship. Okay. 50.6, 50.7. So it's probably going to be plunging through the deck. There we go. They did hit me. Partial pen. But I believe that that is the first... No, it's not even the first hit. Bow deck extended penetration... Mid-deck. I want to get into the range where the deck is not the primary target anymore. But it's not going to be easy getting there. I am closing the range. My chance to pen the enemy battleship is also 50%. And the range is 25 now. Which means that the shells are going to come in slightly less vertical. Yeah. Still... Plenty of chance to pen me. Still 51. Did those torpedoes do anything? Yes, they did. They did hit the Westfalen. 
but more of a scratch than anything else, because the damage was mostly negated by the torpedo belt. As was expected, really, because this thing can take a hit. This is why I picked this scenario, because I know that the AI generally picks a really large ship. I think it might be set to maximum displacement as a requirement for the ship build, for the design phase. Now, this one has a range of 12-3, torpedo-wise. Charlemagne just took another hit, didn't it? No, she's still fine. The problem will be to keep up with this ship. Not that the Westphalen is particularly quick, but I'm running 15 knots. That is my top speed. <laughs> and on top of that, can I sink this ship? Maybe. My chance to pen is going up. But it does seem like my battleship is still launching HE. Their pen chance is going down. Look at that. We're more and more getting into the range of belt armor. That's nice. Again, whether I carry enough ammunition aboard that ship, that remains to be seen. Two fires aboard the Westfalen. Probably not going to be that useful. You know what? I'm going to turn off the main guns. Reason being, I don't feel confident about my ability to pen that ship. I might set a fire or two, but that's probably all that I'll do. Ideally, I would get closer and then open up the armor piercing. This thing has a maximum armor of 19.2 on the turret, belt armor of 14, which means, uh, considering her armor quality is 100%, that's 28 inches of armor. 28 inches of armor is something I can pen somewhere in the range between 12,500 meters and 15,000. So I just need to get quite a bit closer, and I will probably be able to deliver some serious hits. Their chance to pen me now has dropped to 37%. Those 18-inch guns are going to struggle. Now, the heavy cruiser is in torpedo range. The Hansa. Not a great turning circle for a heavy cruiser. Sonar 2. Hmm. How many launchers does the Glaive have? Just one quad. Not stellar. It's a start. I might scare off the heavy cruisers a little. But beyond that, it probably won't do much. These are only 19 inch torpedoes. They are, however, far stealthier than the torpedoes on the other destroyers. On the, uh, the Tirailleur, for example. Oops. My chance to pen? 59% on the Westfalen. Westfalen returns fire and has a chance of 30% to pen me. <laughs> nice try. I, you know what? I'm going to play this one out. I want to see how this ends up. Aggressive. Get those torpedoes away. Oh, hold up. I'm not the only one throwing torpedoes, am I? No. You were doing something similar. Freya. Fortunately, Prince Adalbert does not have torpedoes. Does have 15-inch guns. These have 22-inch uh, torpedoes, but they're fast. Unfortunately, that does mean that I might not get to see them. Or Well, I, I will get to see them, but the question is, can the Charlemagne turn out of range in time? Range 21.8. Chance to pen me. 20%. Where are your 18-inch guns now? She did hit me again. Mid belt, partial pen. Mid belt over pen. From an 8. Oh, sorry, that's against a DD. Never mind. I could really use that smoke screen right about now. There, smoke up and run away. You have done your duty. And now it's time to back off for a bit and let the torpedoes go where they need to go. Which is right into that enemy formation there. Am I at least closing in on the battleship? Somewhat. Oh, Mécanicien Principal Lestin got hit by a torpedo. That's one of the torpedoes that was probably not even meant for that DD. 
bit of an unlucky hit there. Oh, you guys decided to fall back and I completely forgot about you. Which means that <laughs> they're now 30 kilometers behind the battleship. But then again, they're not really the focus here. I want to see if I can tank 18 inch shells. And it turns out I can. I was hoping for 20. But 18 inch is what I'll take. Look at that. Oh, now the penetration angle or penetration chance goes up again. Pretty quickly, too. At, what are we at current? 21.5? So let's say you round it down to 20,000 meters. You can penetrate 20.4 inches of belt armor. I think it has to do with the ricochet chance. What? Wow, we hit one of the torps on the Westfalen. I need to turn back in again. Go full bow in and make sure that they cannot pen the Charlemagne. 25.5 is going back up. Come on, I need the ricochet chance going up. Still, 30% chance to penetrate a battleship at 22,000 meter range is not bad. Oh, we have picked the battle cruiser as our target. Okay. Immediately a hit? <laughs> Against a battle cruiser. Hold up. This battle cruiser is running low on ammunition? Reduced ammo for shells. Okay, interesting. So both the 8 and the 15s are running out. Meaning that this is a really heavy destroyer at this point. Because 4-inch guns are really not that much as far as a threat to my battleship. Now what I ideally want to do is pen the battleship. Can I? 55% chance to pen. Yes, I can. Can you pen me? Yeah, but not as much. Just keep lumbering towards the enemy. The thing is, she is getting away. I think the closest I got was 21.5 or something in that range. And she is now opening up the distance. That is not good news for me. See, if I were to add 5,000 meter range or something like that, or 5,000, sorry, 5 knots, I don't think that that would be terribly useful for me because I would just... I would have to sacrifice a lot of armor to make that work. Multi key, turning circle bad, sonar 3, crap. And 4 inch guns. Range, 14-2. We got the uh, Glaive and... who is that, Spahi? Spahi. You took a few beatings, didn't you? Still two salvos left. The battleship has done a pretty shit amount of damage so far. Just 262, where she's taken 547. And now, again, de bow deck penetrated. So this is the problem. The battleship is opening up the range. And by doing that, it's getting more deck pens. That's a problem. And it's not one that I can easily fix. Although, the penetration chance is going down again. Now, unlike the battle cruisers, it is not likely for me to wait out until the Westfalen empties all her magazines. Because she is carrying quite a lot of ammunition. She, in <laughs> she has an increased complement of shells. So my chances of outweighing that thing are pretty bad. Oh, hello. I got a little closer, didn't I? I'm sorry. Uh, 3,000 meters. <laughs> Why is the Moltke not shooting me? You have 4,700 shells, a 4 inch, a whole bunch of 3s, almost 10,000, and another 6,000 2 inch shells. What? Am I not worthy? Target Moltke. What's my chance to pen this ship? 16%? With a 4-inch gun? Impressive. That is really impressive. I wonder if I can throw up this battle cruiser out of existence. 
Uh oh. Please tell me that torpedo launcher is functional. Come on. Did they destroy it? Ooh, well, they sure as well are a hell of trying. They are definitely trying. If you try turning your torpedo launcher off and back on again. Oh, that... What? <laughs> that actually worked? <laughs> okay. Lesson learned. When in doubt, reboot your torpedo launcher. Uh, Spahi. I need you to detach from the div. And just add your torpedoes to the problems that that heavy... Or that that battlecruiser is already going to have. away. Now, for this particular experiment, I have tried or have considered doing it with um, the custom battle. But the problem with that is that it is too unpredictable. You never quite know what the AI is going to build, even if you give them 1940s tech. One time they throw out a very heavy battleship, the next time they throw out something that has almost, well, that's less of an H-class and more of a Dreadnought. In this case, I wanted something with seriously large guns. And I'm getting it. But it does seem like the Westfalen, even though she's fired a lot of shells already, she hasn't really been that successful in doing damage. She has really only done two penetrations and 13 parcel pens. Seven shells were just flat out blocked, and two ricocheted off of the Charlemagne. And once again, her chance to pen me is dropping. 13% chance only. So I would say the answer is yes. You can, in fact, tank 18 inch shells. And this is, and it's going to sound weird, this is a mere 25 inch armor belt. Plus 118%, of course. It could have been a lot more. Where are the other destroyers at? Here. The real question that I have is... Do I carry remotely... Oh. Ow. Do I carry even remotely enough shells to do damage? Significant damage against the Westfalen. It's not really a priority to sink her, but I just wanted to see if 15 inch would be enough for this particular mission. That torpedo really hurt. And it was one of my own as well. That was a friendly torpedo that was launched by one of the DDs over there at the battle cruisers. And I didn't look deep and I didn't see that the Charlemagne was behind her. Oh crap. Okay, so can I ch tank 18 in shells? Yes. Because their chance to pen just drops to 5% and is still going down. Impressive. Can we do that again? Rebuild the ship. Stop your complaining, you're perfectly fine. Start again. What sort of guns did you bring now? The enemy spotted to the north. Okay, turn north. Destroyer, scout out ahead. Le Chevalier Poul. Chacal, Voltigeur. Uh, we got Aventurier and Brestois. Enemy to the north. The thing that, the fact that I haven't spotted them yet means that they're probably beyond 35 clicks. There we go. How far are you? Yep, there we go. 36-4. This looks more promising as far as guns go. The ship doesn't feel as large, though. But I'd say that she needn't be. 
Now, I'm not going to tell caliber by ear, but it sounded bigger than 18 inch. Go in that direction, towards the battleship. I probably have a couple of different ship classes again. Yeah. Uh, Voltigeur and Chacal are the same class. 20 inch torps. And a single torpedo tube? Run that one by me. Oh, there. Port and starboard. Okay. Uh, and Chevalier Paul. The Chevalier has more firepower, torpedo wise. 20 inch, 12 6. Sneaky torps. Complement. Increased ammo. Standard torpedoes. And Aventurier, living up to her nickname, charging right into battle. She's one of those, um, let's say, Chacal class. But then again, the Brestois is not. That's not what I'm looking for. Identification of the battleship, 33%. I have hit something. Oh, I have hit the enemy battleship. What I'm waiting for is to get hit by the battleship. Hold on, we can just sort of time it. When this thing fires, I need to have a look at the clock. And if it's, let's say, 100 seconds or so, then that means 19 or 20 inch guns. She doesn't feel particularly quick either. That was 749.32. 30 seconds have passed. Nice damage. 60 seconds have passed. I believe an 18 inch gun would have already fired at this point. But they're not. They are not firing yet. Oh, I can torpedo it. We're currently looking at 80 seconds. I don't... There we go, 80 seconds. After 80 seconds she fired. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking they might be 19 inch guns. Or... 20 inch guns with an improved reload. Either that... Or they just have a terrible reload system. Now, just drop those torpedoes. We're targeting what we assume is the battleship. Aventurier turn back. 60% ID. Range to the target, 28 kilometers. Angle, pretty decent. I still haven't been hit by them. So that's not a factor that I can use to figure out what sort of uh, guns she has. Brestois, listen to me. Hold on. Your range is 12.6. Crap, you need to charge in. If I want to drop torps, that is. Um, detach Chevalier and... Brestois can be in the same class. So the Chevalier gets to join that battle line. I'm taking hits from an 8-inch gun. Assuming that's a heavy cruiser or a secondary armament on the battle cruiser. They are still very interested in the Aventurier. Now, do I still have the same classes here? Yes. Good. So that means that the Aventurier can join that battle line. We have damaged their battleship again with 15-inch guns. It seems like this particular battleship does not have too much armor. 98, 99, 100. Tell me what you are. Battleship Nisenau. I was wrong. She is 130,000 tons, but I was not wrong about the guns. 20 inch with a propellant of TNT. This means that at... What am I at? Currently 20,000 meters? 26. So let's round that down to 25. She can penetrate 41 inches of deck armor. 50-50 chance to pen. My chance to pen you... I don't know. Game. 51. 
So you're also a 50-50. Interesting. What else do you have? A few seven... Whoa, no, not a few. Like a lot seven inch aux guns. Secondaries and a whole bunch of twos. I find this ship to be more effective against multiple threats. The previous battleship was just effective against large ships and destroyers. Not heavy cruisers, not light cruisers. This thing is probably much more of a menace to, well, everything. Brestois, you are in range, we? Oui? Oui, oui. Torpedo. S'il vous plaît. Now would be a great time. Come on, you're in range. Don't be stupid. Come on. I have faith in your capabilities as a torpedo boat. Don't prove me wrong. Nice announce your target. 11-8. Hold on. Are you running away? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Have you even done any kind of damage? You have. One partial pen and one over pen. Oh, sorry. I need to be looking at the 20 inch guns. Um, one hit out of 62 shells. One partial pen versus 32 inches of armor. So you probably hit my belt. No, my, my probably my angled deck armor. Yeah. That lines up. That's 15 inch plus 118%. That's probably what they hit. Alright, try it again. Brestois. S'il te plaît. Torpedoes. Turn, 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 turn. Yes. Aim in the general direction. No. 11-8. She's moving away again. Okay, can I torp anything else? Well, there's no shortage of targets here, but the real question is, are they going to be in range by the time that I try to hit them? And I don't know. Anyway, this is just side play. There we go. Bestois has been successful at finally dropping her torps, and so is the Chevalier. Nicer now. What's your chance to pen? 51, still. It's probably because she's keeping me at this range, and maybe even opening up the range. And again, I have very little counterplay. This is why I usually don't go for a battleship that has this much armor. It is interesting to tank all this damage, but it's not really making an effective ship. Because I don't get to determine when and where we fight. The Nysa now does. And the Nysa now can keep me out of range, which is fortunate for her. And, oh, hold on a moment. There are torpedoes on the way. You have detected enemy torpedoes. Those inbound or outbound? Inbound. I'm not against the Charlemagne, that's for sure. Okay, boys, this way, please. Aventurier, ready. Voltigeur, ready. Chacal, ready. Parfait. Um, yeah, I can just throw the torpedoes out into the general direction of this fleet, although they consist mostly of light cruisers and destroyers. Hold up. Yeah, that's the heavy cruiser Rhineland, Seitlitz. Where are their battle cruisers? All the way back there. It's a bit lame, isn't it? Chacal. Turn to port. I wonder if this salvo is going to hit anything. Because there is a uh, very high likelihood that these guys detect and promptly turn away. There's not that much to go around. Anyway, as I was saying, um, the battleship Nice now is perfectly capable of dictating the battle. One thing that might happen with this ship is that at some point she'll run out of ammo. But these things reload in 80 seconds, which means that 
she fires, what, 40 salvos in an hour? So that's 40 times 4 is 160 shells. Right? So she's going to keep up this fight for 4 hours. If she fires constantly. Hold on, this thing has crop 2? Interesting choice. Very interesting choice. I'm not sure why. There we go. She's hit me. But she barely did any damage. The supposed battle cruiser did hit the destroyer, the Chacal, and definitely did do some damage. It looks like the torpedoes are just migrating and not really hitting anything. So, the real question again, can I tank seriously large caliber guns? And in this case, I, I can't quite tell you. It really depends, as most situations in life. The answer is, it depends. In this case, um, somewhat, but the battleship is also not helped with having terrible range finding and terrible radar. If it did have good accuracy, I probably would have taken more damage, especially as it's 50-50 chance to pen me. Whether this battleship design is going to be effective, um, I would say no. Because I find mobility to be more valuable than anything else. I would really like a battleship that's doing 25 knots. Something in that range allows me to dictate when and where we fight. 15 knots allows you to build a battleship with a lot of armor. It will be capable of tanking a lot. But that's about all that she's good for. Because against... Oh, I'm currently targeting the heavy cruiser. Oh, I hit something. Against the battleship, I might might do some damage against her. But against the rest, I mean, a DD, I wouldn't catch it. I would have to rely on the destroyer to get close. Now, yes, you could make the argument that in the case of the V8, um, it's going to be very hard to catch because she's doing 37 knots. But then again, that's what you usually have escort ships for. Still... Um, can you tank these shells? Sort of. It depends on the range. I do believe that if I get closer, I'll be capable of tanking more. Because let's say I'm at 15,000 meter range, at which point the deck pen is only 28 inch, and the belt pen is only 29 inch. Well, not only maybe, but I could tank that. But... Good luck getting into that position. That's the whole problem. That's the whole problem. And especially these guns, the 15s, they rely more on getting closer. In this case, I'm probably getting some pens because I'm going through the deck. Stern deck, uh, stern deck again. So it is mostly the deck armor that's taking the hits. And that... Oh, there goes the Voltigeur. Uh, that's what this ship does not have that much of. She has 8-inch deck and 4.1-inch deck extended. Which is far more normal what you would find on a battleship. Um, this ship is the exception. With 15 inches of deck armor and deck extended. Anyway, with this I'm going to conclude this test. Um, this was more of an experimental vid. I was curious to see how the game would react to this. The answer is not a resounding yes or no. It is... it depends. It really depends on what you want the role of the battleship to be. If you want it to be a full-on tank, then yes, you can tank 19, 18, 20 inches of armor, but... Oh, sorry, and 20 inch shells, but is it going to be effective? Probably not. I would rather have a ship that's capable of maneuvering more, that's capable of chasing down ships, uh, that has potentially a bit more secondaries other than just 5 inch but hey ho um, it works and it doesn't work let me know what you guys think of this particular test down below in the comment section I hope you have enjoyed it and if you have any suggestions for other tests any um, fun things that you would like me to run in this game let me know down below in the comment section for full on scenarios please send those through the link down below in the description
as I don't take those in the comment section. Oh, and as a closing remark, as I had expected, as I get closer to 21 kilometers, the penetration chance for the Nice and now versus the Charlemagne drops sharply. It drops from 50% to probably somewhere in the range of 20% and maybe even more. Maybe I can get all the way down to 15% chance to pen. 19, still dropping. How much damage have I done? 398. How much damage have you done? 111. Uh-oh. This is another problem for a heavy battleship. You get torpedoed. There's not that much that you can do against it. Because you're too slow. And you can't turn. And flash fires don't really help with survivability. Anyway, the last pen numbers, 16 and a half. So, yes, the closer you get, the better it gets. When you have belt armor. Anyway, that'll be all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you soon for another video.